Uh, Montoya was penalised last year for that. There was oh, that's a big accident for uh, Kubica, and a horrible accident going on there. He's moving his hands, and uh, obviously safety car will be out again. But, uh, he must have tangled with somebody in the braking area down there into I think it's turn 10 into the uh, hairpin with that Renault that's in the pit lane. And uh, oh yes, he's had an accident very early on. That, that was at maximum velocity. That, I've never seen a car crash like that uh, in this circuit at that place. And uh, he's certainly moving his hands about at that point. It's the Toyota he connected with. He took off. Oh, yes. And, and head first into it. So nearly collected. The Toro Rosso of Scott Speed that you would have thought in any normal circumstances would have been well out of the action. And that was a huge impact. And, uh... So he's having a good day, not as good as he wants, because he wants to win one of these races this year. And some debris coming off one of the cars. Oh. Heavy, heavy impact. Tom Wood. And Tom Wood's car, part of the front of that car coming apart in heavy impact in the right side of the wall, the front end on the right side at over 180 miles an hour as Wood was running in second spot. And we saw a couple of parts come off the front of that car. Brandon's going to go down to the bottom side. Oh, that's exactly right. Oh, the, he, the he, wing, the right front wing. Right front wing. Uh, there's the teammate thing that we were just talking about. He cut down Tom Wood's tire with that right front wing. And unfortunately, both cars are done. The both cars are really done and out of, out of a chance. That's that team meeting we were talking about that, Sam, that you don't want to do. And just a mistake by Brandon by running wow. in the back of Tom Wood, cutting his tire down and, and sending him very, very hard into the wall. Oh, car into the wall. Car into the wall is Jem Bulgassi who has found the barrier. And that's a big one. And that's a red flag. And that is very, very good to see. And Tim Bollock Bassi out of the car and being ushered under his own steam into the medical car. And yeah, it certainly does look like he's just lost the rear, whether it's on that outside curve or a little bit earlier, but it's a fast part of the circuit, yes. And as I suspected, grounds out on that outside curb. Uh, takes away the grip from the rear wheel, skits on the plank that lines the bottom of the car, and then he's just an absolute passenger to the freshly smoothed outside wall. I think it is too, oh, too heavy on that force. Boy, the 26 and the 11, it looked like they touched so briefly there, and he's going to bounce off the car and go to the lead. Oh. They're two wide, three back as well. Gustavo oh. Yoko touches, and a teammate. Oh. Anna Beatrice. Okay. Oh, we hope she's okay. That was a tough hit. Anytime you have a frontal impact tough. like that, that is Look really like the, hard Looks hit. like the car held up very well, though, at the front as Beatrice, who was that, Kimball? Was that Beatrice no, that was and Kimball? Jakumin and Gustavo Yakuman. They and made teammates contact. for Sam Schmidt Motorsports, oh. both running in the front. Huge contact here. I hope here. she's okay, oh, man. Boys. I think they're going to support her neck and back because this is a, a very large hit, but she is alert. She's awake. Let's go to the replay. Let's take a look as... Uh, now watch Gustavo. He gets really high. There he is. She just touched, she touched him. Yeah. But it sends her straight into the inside wall. Yeah, that wow, takes your breath away. There's a little uh, bit of onboard fire there with Yakuman, but that uh, quickly goes These out. Guys here's are the view, here's so the view from turn two. I don't, think, I don't think she saw Gustavo. <sighs> you think that's what it was, Rafa? Well, he's yeah. just in the blind spot. I think she gave him enough room. Gustavo seemed like he had a few feet. He could have just gone a little bit higher, but yeah. I think he got a little nervous about getting high up into one, so he turned down a little bit. And there is Christian, and well, it looks as though he's. It looks as though he may well have got trapped in the car. He's obviously uh, moving around okay, but it looks as though. He's stuck in the car, and the car safety team are on the scene very quickly as ever to try and get him out. Let's just have a look and see. Well, the race has been stopped, and there, my word, he uh, really hit that wall at an angle, didn't it? Well, a very direct hit yeah. on the wall. And there was obviously contact between him and another car before they even yeah, got to It looks like it's Gilles and Christian have touched wheels and have just um, sent each other into the wall, and obviously Christian's come off a lot worse. That second impact there was probably the one that's done the damage. Well, let's oh, here we go. Well, this is this is going to be it, isn't it? Because he's this touched. is the view from right. on board. There, uh, look, he's, he's getting touched, he's getting hit by someone behind him, and obviously that's just sent him into the wall. Let's take a look. He goes yeah, that's across nasty, the pit isn't lane it? exit and then straight into the wall. And the camera didn't like it either.
confidence of them. Uh, obviously, at times like this, all the concern, the only concern is for the driver, but, uh, but a shunt like that, we're talking about it, we saw it splitting totally in half, the car. That's an expensive one. You, you won't be able to gather anything out of that, will you? No, I don't know. I've, I've seen the pictures like you have seen. Yeah. I haven't seen the car. The car will be completely broken. We need to see how, uh, after the scans, how he's doing, how the car is, and then we decide what we do tomorrow, you know, because uh, at some stage uh, uh, it's maybe better not to start. It's Juan Pablo Garcia out of the race, guys. There are five cars locked in a pretty good battle for fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh, and the number nine machine, Kristen Airy, Anders Krohn, hits the wall, and we've got a bad crash in front of you in turn two. Walker Weidler there has his problems trying to sort out David Hunt along the straight, close together, and there's a tremendous accident. Herbert, Wojtek, Griard, and so many cars, I cannot see just how many people are involved in that. But it is virtually the whole of the field behind the first three. It's in slow motion, you'll see that touch. They both hit the bridge parapet, nowhere for Griard to go. Mark Blundell somehow misses it all. Foytek's car rolls down the barrier there. The driver does not actually hit the armco. Cars everywhere. Johnny Herbert hit by not one, but several cars there. Griard's car, there is Herbert's car. The front cut off to release the driver. A huge frontal impact. 